in this video you will learn how can you back to life during a chess game Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg. I'm Grandmaster and today I will show you one of my most memorable games in my career. It was 10 years ago against international master Yulia Schweiger, one of the best Israeli women, you know, in all time. And yeah, it was in Isle of Man, a very beautiful island in England just 10 years ago i can't believe it so you know it was a very very interesting game and i really uh, excited to show you it so let's start e4 c5 knight f3 d6 d4 c takes d4 knight takes d4 knight f6 knight c3 and a6 of course this position you all very know uh, because this is the Knight of Variation and you know the Steinberg variation, Steinberg and Kobo variation with H4 and you know it was like three or four years after it so I didn't play the move H4 unfortunately but I played the move Bishop to E3 so my point that after E5 Knight B3 that this is what he, she played in, in the game Bishop E6 and now I play the move Queen to F3 my point is that I really want to play H3 G4 castle and to attack in the king side while black will try to attack uh, in the queen side so she played the move Bishop to E7 uh, H3 of course because after long castle Bishop G4 it's a little bit bad for me of course so I play the move H3 uh, castle and castle also G4 it's very very uh, interesting move i think overall we would like to play g5 h4 d5 bishop h3 maybe and g4 is very flexible because you're not giving uh, the opportunity to attack in the queen side very fast because we didn't castle yet but i played the move castle also i think overall it's also fine b5 and in this position i made the first mistake in this game of course g4 was the best uh, here after b4 knight d5 knight takes d5 e takes d5 bishop d c8 bishop d3 a5 i had a very interesting game against a grandmaster Dani Razdikov in this position uh, i i think i showed to you uh, in my youtube channel one of the um the positions there where a lot of tactics and yeah it's it was just amazing uh, but yeah, knight c5 I played in this position and it's a very bad move. What is this mistake? Because what I want to do, knight takes e6 doesn't seem fine because f takes e6 and rook is uh, just opened the f file and also the d5 square will just uh, not be mine, right? So knight c5, very very big mistake I think, uh, already in the move number 11 in the game and she played the move queen a5 I think very logical. It's very funny, uh, but the best move in the position is to go to to come back with an eye to b3, uh, because yeah, it just it just you know, like like the the last video that you can see, we must understand, we did a mistake and we need to come back. So knight 3 is just amazing uh, understanding and admit by mistake, but I didn't play this and I did a, another mistake. Knight takes e6, f takes e6. And now I really played a really bad move. I think in this position, you must understand and think by yourself what black is threatening. And the threat is very clear, knight d5 or b4, right? b4 and the a2 pawn uh, is under attack. So of course, after king b1, I thought knight d5, I think, but just queen g4, knight takes c3 and b takes, and it's not so easy for black, maybe rook f6, but I don't know, it's, yeah, it looks risky, of course, but maybe I'm not losing already. Uh, but I played after f takes e6, the move h4, and this is just a really bad move. Black is playing the move b4, knight to b1, and queen takes a2. And look at the position. I'm down a pawn, my king is weak, it seems like a5, a4, a3, or, sorry, rook c8, b3, something around this. I'm just losing absolutely and my pieces are not developed at all right so how can I you know come back to life in this position and I really want 
to, to tell you guys because we are already have a large community, more than 1,000 subscribers. So I'm not uh, feeling ashamed uh, to tell you that in this position I go, uh, I went to my, to the bathroom, to the toilet, and you know I wash my my face, and I, I'm, I must admit that I also cried because it was so much a shame that in this position 14 moves in the opening i'm just lost with white pieces uh, you know such thing i'm not remember uh, in in this uh, you know in this part of my career that i was absolutely losing uh, in in this move and you know i'm crying a little bit and uh, you know my stress uh, comes from from my mind and from my body and i said to myself you know what let's come back let's come back we can do it you know of course it's a losing position but you know everything in chess it's a sport and i i can do it i believe in myself and let's try to play fast let's try to be with confidence and let's try to do the unbelievable and i think maybe i could do it so let's see the game i play the move bishop to d3 i think overall it's good move i also protect the e4 pawn also maybe um will bring the opportunity to the queen come to h3 maybe in some ideas so also the bishop on d3 covering the c2 pawn that covering the king on c1 so if she played the move rook c8 i think logical move of course because she wants to bring the rook to the game uh, but i think overall knight c6 or i don't know knight bd7 looks very strong a5 a4 very promising for black of course winning position right so she played the move rook c8 and i played the move queen to h3 my point that i don't want to let her to play d5 because the e6 pawn um will be lost so she played the move knight c6 and now i played b3 of course i'm attacking the e6 pawn and now she played the move knight to a5 also i i must admit it looks very strong for her because knight b3 is a checkmate on the board so i took on e6 check king f8 and now i think of course it's the only way to play uh, with white but it's like it's like a move that when you're playing it you said okay i'm not giving up king to d2 and I, you know, it's it's something very very important because after this move, I felt like okay, it's it seems bad, but now it's a little bit complicated, and it's not so easy for her to find some moves. She played the best move in the position d5, e takes d5, knight takes b3, king to e2, and my king is going to e2, right, uh, in the middle of the center, and of course in this position. You know, it's not so easy for black to find the win. She played the move, uh, you know, she played the move uh, d here, knight c5, yeah? But the best move in the position is e4. And it's not so easy to understand because after bishop e4, now knight c5, bishop c5 and bishop c5. And now rook e8 will come and the king, of course, is very bad in the center. So this position, probably I will, uh, I will lose this position. But it's not so easy to understand that you need to give up another pawn, um for uh you know open the e file so she played the move knight c5 and now uh, i played queen takes c5 she played rook d8 of course rook uh, knight takes d3 also makes sense rook takes d3 rook takes c2 knight d2 and yeah it's not so easy also in this position because d6 i want to play the king on the fade is a little bit open and my king on e2 right is in the center but there are a lot of pieces that are doing here a great job to defend him right maybe rook d1 also so it's not so easy here in this position uh, to win by the black pieces so she played rook to d8 and now i really uh, recommend you to stop the video now think by yourself which move i played in this position and i i must admit after this move i felt like i will win the game because if i manage to come back from the death and to understand some moves here and to play with the king to e2 and now i i come to a very strong move that i remember that when i uh, put this position in the uh, chessboard in my analysis with stockfish the stockfish um didn't found the move immediately right so it's very very strong and the move is bishop takes h7 a brilliant move i think you know the point that after knight takes h7 d6 i'm doing and this knight is under attack and this bishop is under attack and queen f5 in some ideas 
and this position it's not so easy bishop takes d6 rook takes d6 queen takes c2 and now just king f3 and my king on f3 is just feeling well really well and there is nothing to afraid of right rook c1 the c5 knight is under attack the knight will come to d2 of course and yeah it seems like the king on f8 is maybe weaker than my king on f3 so after bishop h7 she played him with queen c4 check king e1 slowly slowly everything is fine is under control of course now knight h7 also d6 i'm playing and everything is under control from my uh, point of view she played uh, the move bishop to d6 and now queen to f5 covering the bishop on h7 also covering the pawn on c2 also the d5 pawn and also you know pinned the knight from f6 so she played rook e8 now queen f3 i played because i really wanted to bring the queen back also to protect the, b the bishop on e3 because maybe black wants uh, for example i will play knight d2 of course it's bad move because rook takes e3 f takes and bishop g3 and of course queen f2 and white will win uh, of course we lost the game after takes takes and queen up right so yeah i i, I must think about the bishop on e3 and also the square on g3 so i played the move queen f3 maybe also to bring back to the bishop to f5 maybe to d3 and also to protect these two squares she played the move rook to e5 and now bishop g6 and uh, you know i, I know that uh, the computer said okay it's not the best move in the position but i i really think that in my point of view it's a good move right i don't need to play every uh, single move the best move in the position i'm not computer and it's fine but it's good move i'm coming back with the bishop to g6 maybe i'm want to play the move h5 h6 right this is my point and it's a good move and also don't forget i'm not giving up this rook from a8 to come to e8 so bishop g6 was played a5 h5 i really want to push the pawn and queen g4 now played knight to d2 bringing the the last piece into the game rook takes d5 and now i played the move rook h3 of course another move was to play h6 but overall i think rook h3 another very good move not the best move but i'm bringing another piece into the game so king g8 was played knight to b3 i understand that this knight is very strong piece and my knight was not so good so i really want to exchange it and also don't forget that if he's you know for example i don't know rook takes d1 uh, king takes d1 queen takes d1 takes takes knight takes b3 for example in this position it's really really good for me because i have two bishops and i have pawn up right so these pawns are not going anywhere so i would like to exchange these knights on b3 so after uh, knight takes b3 he, she takes and now i take with the king of course queen takes d1 also a very strong move uh, but i i took with the king i'm not sure that it's so uh, different rook d8 was played and now i played the move knight takes a5 and my point that just i'm not afraid from any check with this bishop right you can just go whatever you want everything is fine for example bishop c7 check just king c1 and also don't forget the, the knight on c5 is under attack so after knight takes a5 she played the move queen to e6 because she was already in time trouble in the 33 move in the game knight c6 rook d7 and now knight d4 as you can see all my pieces are doing great job queen a2 now queen c6 i would like maybe to to put some uh, problems here for the black king so she played the move bishop f8 king e2 another very strong move i'm just uh, avoiding from this defile and unpin my knight and maybe the king will come to f3 and feeling very well there so queen a1 rook h4 another very strong move i'm just you know covering the d4 knight and you know slowly slowly improving my position i know that my king is in the center center of the board but i'm not afraid just to do a good moves I, I don't need to play the best move in the position and just rook h4 b3 was played c takes b3 rook a7 and now b4 queen b2 check and knight c2 and she resigned the game so yeah it was a very very tough game i started very bad in the opening i did a lot of mistakes but I think overall my power in my uh, soul you know just never give up and also you can back to life in any time in chess it's sport and this is something that I really really like uh, to think about because you know 
this is how we live in this world and we just never give up and learn how to speak with you during the game and to give you power to do it so i really hope you enjoy this video hit the like button and also subscribe my channel see you soon bye bye